Over the past three decades, South Africa has seen a rise in Khoi and Sun revivalism. People still classified as coloured are more and more rejecting the term and starting to identify with their Khoi and Sun roots. What is important is that the, the recognition for the Khoi and Sun has not been that forthcoming, whereas in other groupings, they had their traditional leadership, they were recognized. There has to be an acceptance of us as the foundational people of this country. An ancient cultural cleansing ritual performed on land they were alienated from more than three centuries ago. When the Dutch colonized the tip of Africa, they also stripped the indigenous Khoi Khoi from their land, culture, and traditions. Dispossession of land of the original inhabitants of South Africa, uh, both African and Khoisan groupings, is undeniable. Stealing of land did take place. Dispossession was fundamental to the building of modern South Africa. It's built into the genes of the society. The, 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 the leadership of the state in Netherlands the, the diplomatic community of the Netherlands community in South Africa and that side, all of them needs to come and sit at the table. There must be a discussion with, 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 with the Koi and the Sun, which I would call the informal state. So culpability to this day still lies with the Dutch Crown and the Dutch government for what happened, the dispossession of Koi lands. When the British arrived, they followed suit and hence the British government uh, and the British Crown hold responsibility for those actions too.